Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? We're very well, sir. How are you doing, sister? Thank God. It's so good to see your face this morning. All right, so we have some quick questions to ask you. All right, so... Hello. Good morning, sir. Good morning, good morning once again. My name is Mrs. Olaf and I am Mrs. Uji. We are the uh, media team of Tunde Foundation School. Media team? Yes, yes sir. Uh, that's not good. Right, are you, are you from media group or what? Yes, we have a media section at Tunde School. Right, so um, we are here to ask you some quick questions. I hope you don't mind answering this this morning. Yeah, just for the second minute. Okay, so I'm going to take this one. Mr. Pim. Sir, can you really introduce? You wanted to introduce yourself to so our viewers at home. Anyway, my name is Mr. Tunde Bejide, FCIB. In the, the first place, uh, under the school in 1989, and I was still working. And I was still the proprietor. I'm the chairman. I had a PhD. I had an MCA. I had a department of banking. I became chartered. I also did some other professions, including corporate, including accounting, management, and more importantly, psychology. Because if you cannot, if you want to run a business, you must be able to manage not only resources, but human. And that's why I went to University of Ghana and have a master's in managerial psychology. All right, sir. Thank you very much, sir. What made you venture into um, school business? Because from the information that we have gathered, I know that you are a banker, you work with UBA. I want to know why did you venture into education? No, from the beginning, my goal is to become a president. Because there's one man I always see him dressing it. Late Chief Grimby. I see him as my mentor. What's my ambition? Create two NC degree and come back into education to be a teacher. But by good by coincidence, become intervention. I found myself into banking. And to be a banker too, because my own nature, you cannot say you are working in the banking environment without doing their courses. I studied the science. That's what I went to do for banking examinations. I went into school. And I have a building here, not meant for schools. It's for religious jobs. But all the time, when they come back from the office, to be fighting and to sleep. And I got tired. That's why I say this could be cool. And I remember that I have got a great you let AC, why can't you start a, a school? That's why I used the first two shops and my own shop to start this school. Wow, that's, that's nice. So I would like your educational background, it shows to and through that you are an educationist and your wife too is an educationist. So sir, we want to learn from you, what are the core values of your school and your achievements since 1999 to now? The core values, you know I'm a job with this, I don't from you. And the family are bringing, it's also key. My core values is to be godly in your business. It is character, not a bonus. If you if read Psalm 15, it highlights what I should not believe. No partiality in the eye of God. You must walk faultlessly. Don't be a human. There could be error. But when you see your error, what should you do as a godly man? Apologize. So the parents, the teachers know our core value. Which is as in character. And what? And knowledge. Kata is what? Your religion and your behavior. And that one, that one stands us out today in many areas. Alright, thank you very much, sir. I was going to ask that question that what are the things that make Tumbe Foundation School, Tumbe School generally, stand out from every other school? You have said that excellence in character and godliness. And also, let me, let me stand out. It's our belief that 
your staff, your children, the parents are part of your establishment. So their welfare concern me a lot. I brought in the idea of bank to Tumbe. We started giving gifts to Prince since 1999. What's my Big gifts. Send the teachers. I, we started giving our teachers dress code allowance in those days. Also, bonus in performance. We share profits to our teachers by way of marketing bonus. These are the things that make us stand. We don't cheat in our school. We cheat in our own. And our parents know where we stand. Anything of value, anything of integrity, that's where we are. So we, we, we make ourselves to teach our children more, not in academics, but good behavior. Because in Tongue, character is better than skill. Thank you, sir. Sir, you mentioned earlier that you're a Jehovah Witness. Does it mean your teachers are Jehovah Witness and you only admit to Jehovah Witness as a student? No, you don't practice religion in the school. I've told my parents and my teachers. In my school, I think it was only one teacher or two who are Jehovah Witnesses. And I've been told the doctrines we have is for our kingdom all. In other religions, which I've not mentioned, they compare their teachers to worship in their own way. To me here, it's not approved. There's a school my child went to. I want to compare my child for prayer from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. I, I, I don't do it here. Because worship is personal. But moral values we share. You that are interviewing me, you are a redeemed and a pastor. What of you? I'm a um, student teacher, a children teacher in Baptist in Baptist Church. Is my one of my best teachers, Mr. Dotunde, is even a Muslim. And she was even appointed by the school. And that one thing surprised the Muslim environment. How can a Jewish witness accommodate a Muslim? Because to God. You must not be partial. Tombe is seen as a public establishment. That's why on Friday, we allow those who are Muslim to go and what? To go and pray. Even now, even now, I bet today is praying on Thursdays, we allow her. Because she's a Muslim. Because today, I see that no religion will preach immorality. No religion. Now you're a Muslim, and you're a Christian, and you preach moral values. You only bring the idea of your own values to the school. But the first religion, go to your church, go to your kingdom hall, go to your mosque. The practice works. Religion. Right, thank you very much, sir. Um, I have this last question, except we still have more things to share with us. And the question is that, as a school owner of this thriving school, what are the down times that you have had? I know we've had a lot of beautiful times, a lot of achievements. What about what about the challenges? How have you been able to overcome? Have you been able to walk through these challenges? It's a good question to have asked. One staff, a staff in this summit, uh, summit once said that the chairman, and I've said that those who you know are the ones that always be changing. I you know my response. I said, who came Eva? His brother came. And God warned came. He did this. Not that when the last days, people are lovers of themselves. It's sad to say, if you know me and bring your chair to my school, I'm doing you a favor. Because it is a it is a privilege to live without business. There's some benefit for you, though mutually beneficial. Those who know me, close to me, yeah, some some take my school fees in me. 
Oh, they are not to me. They are left untouched. The Bible says, those who owe money and do not pay is what? It's wicked. Then who took this wicked one? It is God. There are damn times. But I see every damn time here as a way of learning. Look at the start that you trust. That you start going around to pass the time in school. Some point that you, you think that they are your own. They are the ones that are giving a venue to the market the school. These are damn times. And, and, and cannot stop. Because if they can challenge God, Jesus Christ was challenged. I always ask questions. Who keeps Jesus Christ? It is not Pilate. It is those who are shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna. Because he asked them question. Who should I give to you? Christ or robber? He said, no. So if those people who are close to you run you down, befriend them, pray their behalf to God. Because the Bible says in the last days, people will be God. And people will appear to be godly. And they're not. And since you can't judge them, do your own part. That's why I tell my staff that we focus on what you are doing. Those who say you're not doing well on their own, they do it. When you come back, a school that is producing children that are been getting award, and some are complaining. The bid were heck, they pass. And some are complaining. The bid jam, they pass. One trainer said, if your child is doing not doing well, apart from the school, when you get back home, ask yourself. Because every child is a replica of what? The parents. Yes. My child went to a very good school. Oh, yes, sir. My boy is not doing very well here. Yeah? I never went to the school to come find them. Because it's not the first child. I don't believe it. Whether my boy not doing well, the nice sir. It's so big a lot of it. Sitting in the class. I don't know if I'm at 10, 20. What did I do? I started looking how to solve the problem. So these are the damn times. The land against us, against my staff. But at the end, there are more good news. It was at, as a Sunday, one person met me on the road. He said, I have had good things against you. He's a good daddy also. He said, I heard that one teacher in your school spent 20 years. I said, it's true. He said, I spent 21 years in one school. I was not giving anything. He said, I heard that you paid the teachers for 10 months, apart from the gifts. He said, it's true. And this person prayed for me. So what do I want? The way they speak about Jesus Christ when it was, when it was on earth. Today now. They are appreciating what he has done. The community of, of Tombe School, Fadeya, Namineko, Akutoye, all this area, to be candid, they love Tombe. But if out of 12, you will see one or two. So many of our community members show love to Tombe School and to me. It's only one or two who are, can be called ingrid, selfish. But may God end it out. Not to spoil what is good. Thank you, sir. That was a wise thing. And I think our viewers can learn from all this. Some men in the school that believe in not only knowledge, but character. They big, big character. And the chairman of the school and his wife are educationists. And they also believe in godly character. They admit all students. No matter your religion, whether Muslims, whether Christians. But once you're in Tombe, the moral and godly righteous will be instilled into you. So I'll tell our viewers then that a word is enough for you. A trial will convince you. Just pause. Because you can't remain in a business and not reach a 
as a psychologist. Do not dwell on the Do not dwell on the problem. Look at the problems. Look at the calculates and solve it. I will show you what we have just invested on now. Because our school science should not be lagging behind. These children are my children. By September 12th, we are looking for a training on artificial intelligence. Our child will be exposed more to coding. And with that, having the tools, can they do it? That's my concern. Invest in school facilities. Train and train teachers. Then, success is guaranteed. Because God always hears the hardworking ones. Let me go and show it to you what you are invested on. So, we will be going to around the school to look at what the school has invested on. So, please come along with us. This is the school hall. And these are some of the facilities so many students have. Here is the interactive board and the drama room discussing more with us. Okay. Yes, even morning to our children. We want to appreciate you. Today mark the end of our summer. Even though the media team want to interview me, I said that you also come and see you. Do we agree? Yes. For them to also see you, to video you, and now with school success. Because you are part of our achievement today. Thank yourself. I like that. How are you there? How is everything? Tombe tolerates all religion. It is done by going to court before I can allow somebody to put on the jail clock. It's a part time in Tombe school. Because here, when you hear a jail, that's your belief. You will not be denied. As long as your own right does not affect other people's rights. That's what we stand for in Tombe. Can you clap for that? We don't, we don't strive on our learners' rights because we are here today because of you. Your beliefs, your rights are paramount in what? In our minds. And to end the summer, we will just share with us experiences, advice, and thereafter the dance. You cannot be teaching now. In this century, without making use of digital tools. That's why we invest so much in interactive board. This board that is here, is it for, is it for show? Is it for show? Yes, sir. Is it being used? Yes, sir. Is it being used? Yes, sir. Who can give me one experience? Speak out. What she wants? What did you watch? Like a little man made, little man made, okay? Sit down, sit down. It is used to watch educative videos. You see that? It is not for show. Educative videos. Sometimes here, teachers can also project their notes on the board. Because we do not want to go back to that next century. We are trying to keep on talking. So I'm talking now. It's interactive. Teacher will talk. You also what? Talk. And you see from what? From the video here. That's where Tombe is unique. We have two here. One in the computer room, which we shall go there and see now. Thank you. Thank you, guitar room. And as you can see, we have a lot of computers. Because this is 21st century, the school has taken the initiative to ensure that our learners are 21st century compliant. We, are we have invested already in um, ICT gadgets so that our learners can be well equipped in coding, robotics, AI, and a lot more. So our chairman will give you more. You are spoken rightly because in today's world, it's not only your academics that really matter. Just the beginning of success. 
So when they were young, when they are young, Tombe introduces our children to a digital scale, which includes coding and robotic. Every learner in Tombe is to be taught how to type using Office, Microsoft Word, and from there to Excel, to PowerPoint. Correct draw. This is what we stand for. And now here, Nigerian government education is to go into use of CPT. The time we don't know. Time has started. Modern colleges in Lagos have started for the examination. Maybe also for placement tests of Lagos State, they can be CBT. This thing that you see here has CBT compliant. If you come to the system here, they are 115. That's available here. For use of our children. We expose our children from age 4 to use of computer. You may be surprised as viewers. Because the telephone that you are using at home is also a computer device. It's an example of computer. Because a smartphone has input, has storage. Can be as output, you can also print. So, all the things that the computer has, it also, they also have it. And at home, a two, a three, are just using a smartphone. Why can they be exposed on use of computer in school? At the end, the press will benefit because they will be careful for your phone when you are it. So, Tom Bay is blessed. And I pray to you, we thank you for believing in us. Our parents are very good. They ask questions when they are attended to. Then they, they, they comply. It's only in Tombe, I can see that their parents here don't cause water for us. Am I in order? Yes. Uh -huh. I, I, I hear stories. So they can be dark times. But 99% of our parents don't cause a problem for us. Let me give you one instance. A child was beaten by a, a, a teacher many years ago when the child has a beautiful injury the parent didn't let him know until two years after I don't know I can mention me it's not the witch that's because of love I can tell you too if you see a child the child has a little challenge Run into school and fall down. Many of them, they know that in any environment that could watch. There was a time, one of our parents, one of the children in school here, the child ran out of the school. The school was careless that time. The gate was open. It is the community that saved the child. And God. But the parents never raised an issue. As you are meeting the parents, the parents say, no, it could happen. It's my, it's my school. When the parents started the PTA the parents says, I am the mother of the school. It was, a, it, was a, it was a mistake. That's just what? The parents love the school. So they have right to complain. They have right to complain. Because in human, there could be errors. Psalm 130, verses 3 and 4. But if God in love, what do you say we should do? Freely forgive. I've advised them to be careful of those parents who could not pay our school fees and start the marketing. It's common in the bank. And today's world, Indomie was demarketed. Coca Cola was demarketed. Set the seven up. FCM was demarketed. But don't join those parents who cannot afford our quality, who cannot afford our, our, our price, or who are sent away to join in the marketing. Because don't be remain focus to render excellent service. And you two teachers, I thank you. Because you are wonderful. You are passionate. You are, passionate, you are loving. You care. And God will care for you. Amen. And to our God, we bring some efforts. Because God says, Lion will not be hungry and eat grasses. God care for lions and God will care for all of us. Amen. Once again, I thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. All right, I would like to say this before we end this interview. Yeah.
that aside of aside the fact that we have good parents like our chairman has rightly said we also have qualified and seasoned teachers in Tombe school teachers that are trained and retrained the moment the school realizes a new innovation we keep retrain they keep retraining the teachers and you can see here we have ict teachers here mr divine mr blessing and some other ones that are not here so Tombe school is a school for you to bring your child if you have a child that you want the best for, it's Tombe School is a school for you. Thank you. And back to us, uh, academic and editors. Yes. You have not changed, though. Thank you. Thank so, you very much. So, we've come to the end of the interview.